John told me the house was uh, completely filled. So all the tenants' belongings gonna end up stacked on that side of the house right there. Don't hit any dead ends. Right? Um, <laughs> Oh, oh, we gotta, re we gotta go past that again. What was it? It was like some cognac and a, it was like a lemonade stand, <laughs> but with a Hennessy. Yeah, yeah, yeah come on in. That's cleared, everything is, there's nobody in the closet. Dust come off and then What'd she say? She's just grabbing her last couple things. We got a free ride. Okay, <laughs> all right. But I'm trying to see why my legs keep, keep coming off, you know? Okay. Uh. Uh. Whoa, how many times have you went out? I didn't say you had no problem with me going to the uh. basement. That SUV right there uh, is a narcotics dealer. Dude, I just love how everyone down here just fucking stares you down with like a fucking death stare. Oh shit. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, man. this is the. Uh, Are you filming? <laughs> we're down the Sorry, worst. This fucking is thing. safety. I'm <laughs> we're down the worst fucking yeah. alley. We're probably gonna die, and you just turn the fucking camera <laughs> off. Sorry, my heart dropped there. <laughs> this is. Oh, here you go. There's your. Cognac for sale. Hey folks, they don't do lemonade stands in the ghetto. Just Hennessy for sale. And get yourself a nice cup of Hennessy to get you through the day. <laughs> There's a bailiff right there. We have another bailiff up there. This Escalade uh, right there is actually the tenant who is currently being evicted. Yeah. We're gonna get this big furniture out the front room first. If we stay there. Look at how covered with dust that stuff over there is. Um, shine that light on that shelf, man. Look at those albums and stuff, how dusty all that stuff. It's, it's a shame, they probably got some quality albums in here too. I bet they're all roasted. We ready, dear? Don't worry about picking anything up, just... just... I, I was just stuff in my video. That's all right, no, I appreciate it. I, we'll take care of that, you just gotta... That's fine. Just, just, I just gotta get you I was out of here. Wondering if I could have Jeremy just come help me take some bags out. It's just like there is no Jeremy. Jeremy with the yeah. There's no one outside anymore. Alright, I just it might take me a few trips. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. God damn it. It's hustle though. We got all day. Uh, she's kind of just running around, screaming, wanting to know where the landlord is. Remember, this person has known that this has been coming for seven months. This person has been stealing from the owner of this property for seven months now. And, uh, you know, today is the day. Oh, fuck, look at that porch right there, dude. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> Leave all their stuff behind. They steal movies from the library. And, uh, yeah. Gary pointed out that they almost burned their couch and probably killed themselves. Oh, we gotta go straight down the street. Don't be a fucking pussy and fucking turn the camera off, Steve. Look at all the people down that street. Okay. This is that thuggish, ruggish. Dude, they straight up were selling! They're straight up selling Hennessy! <laughs> like a fucking lemonade stand! Uh. Car just breaks down, does we're like roll past. Dude, look at that guy on my left. He is staring us fucking <laughs> Agency check, and we, we keep it classy here. You know, our tenants like to, you know, almost burn the unit down. They leave their milk out. They leave lards of fucking grease.
outside now, just so everyone is aware. If for some reason we hit somebody's fucking car, I am not stopping. <laughs> Yo. Get my license plate. Dude, you fucking stopped filming when we got in there. <laughs> that's stuff that's like those movies, dude, where you like turn down a oh shit, you can't turn here, man. And then like a bunch of dudes hop out, oh, they let the doves go. To let them know, you know, like that movie Training Day. <laughs> now the way it works here in Cleveland is all of that stuff is going to be left out there. And whatever isn't stolen by scrappers, see a lot of the scrappers, they will follow these bailiff's cars and they will steal all of that stuff. But whatever isn't stolen or retrieved by the tenants by 5 p.m. tonight, this moving crew is going to drive back to this property. They're going to grab everything, put it in their trunk, put it in their truck. They're either going to dispose of it, sell it, you know, whatever they got to do. They don't want the city cutting the grass so they don't have to pay the uh, the fine. When the city comes out and cuts your grass, oh, uh, if you're an LLC, it's, they charge you like 500 bucks. So uh, they're just letting the city know, hey, don't cut our grass, don't hit us with the fine. Oh, what do we got here? We're looking like we got some good stuff here. I'll try to go 20. Oh, no, this is going to be tight. We're going to get stuck. Oh, he's letting us go. All right. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you. Driving with the mask on. She's wearing the wrong kind of protection <laughs> down here, bro. Yeah, it's, she's got to worry about a little bit more than the COVID down here. The mask ain't the kind of protection I'm trying to drive around with when I'm in this neighborhood. <laughs> Dude, I just love how everyone down here just fucking stares you down with like a fucking death stare. Probably think it's the feds. I mean, I would assume we look like DEA agents, honestly. As you guys see, we got John Holton. Uh, he <laughs> looks like he's got a huge saw. A lot of times these tenants, they'll change the locks. They'll barricade the doors so the eviction crew can't get in. They seem to think that if they throw away the key when it's eviction day, we won't be able to get in. But uh, as you can see from John bringing a gigantic saw into this property, that's not the case. It don't matter what you do to that door. When it comes time for eviction day, Holton Wise is going to get into that house. Oh, there you go. I'm going to guess the, the person who owns that SUV right there uh, is a narcotics dealer. Look at this fucking pimp car. Fucking sweet. That dude sells pussy. You know Snoop Dogg used to smell pussy. Talks about it all the time. Nobody enjoys throwing an entire family's things on the tree lawn. But this is real. This is the type of stuff that happens. There is no dog out here, no. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.